Hi there, in this video, basic boolean operators will be explained and also used to create basic logic, includes an, or, an x or. Finally, a simple program will be written and tested by Codes' software. The program will be used in the next video, to control a simple industrial process in factory I.O. software. This software can simulate some industrial processes, and I'll show you how it can be connected to my Codesys program. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Well, if you remember, this simple ladder program, which includes one simple contact and coil, was tested at the end of the previous video. The ladder programming language has been inspired by ladder industrial circuits, and as you saw, the performance of this program is the same as the simple electrical circuit. Similarly, the performance of this ladder program which includes a negated contact, is equal to the circuit which used a normally close push button. Note that, such as industrial circuits, the left line in ladder programming, can be considered as the power line, which helps us to understand a ladder program logic. Remember that's virtual. There isn't any real power line inside the program. A simple and very common program with these contacts and coil, can be this one. Its equivalent circuit is used frequently, to turn on three-phase motors or other devices. As you might probably know, nowadays, electrical signals from all push buttons and also switches and sensors, are collected by PLCs. Then based on the program logic, it controls its outputs. PLC outputs can be used to turn on small devices directly, or high consumption electrical equipment such as three phase motors, by using relays. The most significant advantage of using PLCs, is that their program logic, can be changed easily, without any changes in their electrical circuits. For example, I can change this program easily and use A and B contacts in this form, to turn on the output, C. This program is known as the N logic. Because the output will be on, if and only if, both contacts, A and B were activated. At the bottom, its equivalent circuit is testing. As you see, the program and circuit are similar together. Compared to the previous slide, the PLC program has been changed easily. But the electrical circuit wiring has been changed, and also a normally close push button has been replaced by a normally open type. Another common logic is OR, where each input is activated, the output will be on. It's simple. Let's see another logic performance, X OR. Now, the output will be on, if only one input is activated. At the bottom, its equivalent circuit is testing. As you see, if I change the state of each input, the output state will be changed too. Another important advantage of using PLCs is that, they support a variety of instructions. For example, in addition to simple coils, set and reset coils can be used to turn on and off an output. The set coil is only used to set the state of a specified output to 1, for example, to turn on the C output. And the reset coil is only used to reset a specified address to 0. Note that, PLCs update all outputs at the end of each program execution. So, if both instructions are activated for the same output, the left program will turn off the output, and the right one makes the PLC turn on the output. Well, in the next videos, other instructions such as timers and counters will be explained. Now, let's run codes to write and test some simple programs. Now, I'm going to create a new standard project with ladder language, 
which was explained during the previous video. Well, let's start programming. Before that, let me define three Boolean variables. Now, Let's use ladder elements to write this simple program. Well, these three icons can be used to add a parallel contact to the program. I need to use this one. Now, let's use the defined variables. Another advantage of using PLC is that, they can be used to control two or more systems independently. Let me add another network with this icon or this one. At this time, I'm going to write this program, which is known as the XOR logic. As you see, in addition to the above icons, the write list can be used to insert ladder programming elements. For the second program, let's use new variables. As you see, this window will appear to define the features of the new variable. For example, I can determine its visibility or scope, and after the name, specify its type. If you remember, some items of the scope and type sections have been explained during the first video. For now, I need a local variable whose data type is Boolean. The next field can be used to determine the programming organization unit, where the new variable must be defined there. For now, it has only one option. The next part can be used to select an initial value for the new variable. As you know, a Boolean data type accepts only two states, true or false. Let's write false and then click on OK. Other fields will be explained later, during other projects. As you see, the new variable has been defined here. Similarly, let's define new variables and complete the second program. Well, for this variable, Let's select true state, as its initial state. Now, as I've explained in the first video, let's enable the simulation mode, and then, compile and download the program. OK, as you see, the state of all variables is false, except this one, whose initial value has been changed to true. So, based on the second program, this variable, cc, must be on. Let's start the simulator to see the correct result. OK, let's test the program inside the second network, which is known as XOR logic. As you see, if I change any contact state, PLC will change the output state to true or false. Remember, to perform any change in any variable state, press the Ctrl plus F7 on your keyboard. Similarly, let me test the first program. 
I can use these two contacts to turn on and off the output coil. Try to write, test, and analyze these two simple programs and also others which were explained before. Alright, let me exit from the simulation mode. In the next video, this simple program will be used to control a simple belt conveyor and warning light, using Factory I.O. software. Factory I.O. software is a useful application to design and simulate industrial processes. It can be connected to the Codesys program, through an OPC server, which can be created by Kepsiver X software. Note that, these two applications have a demo version. So, you can download and use them easily during the Codesys course. So, if you don't have any knowledge about them, you can go to our YouTube channel, and watch our previous courses, which both Factory IO and Kepsiver X were explained during them. For example, this video is useful about Kepsiver X software, and let me direct you to the first video on the PLC Goods channel, that was prepared to use Factory IO software. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.